Reptiles are the creatures time forgot. As the surface of the planet was transformed, some even outlived the dinosaurs. Adapting time after time to new situations, reptiles prove themselves to be supreme survivors. But the world today could be their greatest test. A concrete jungle jammed with people. Modern day Miami is a landscape reptiles never had to deal with in the past. Just a hundred years ago, this part of Florida was an alligator swamp. Now it's an urban jungle. What was once reptile heaven looks like reptile hell. But that doesn't mean reptiles have disappeared. In fact, they turn up in the most surprising places. Here, Image is everything, and reptiles have become high-status accessories. But some exotic pets, like these boa constrictors, have escaped life in captivity and set up a new home in the suburbs. Florida's warm climate suits them. They've even begun to breed. But it's not just fugitive pets that are new on the block. Anol lizards from the Caribbean stow away and jump ship here. Today, 10 immigrant species compete with Florida's native anol. In fact, a cosmopolitan mix of reptiles call Miami home, and some of them are treading on our toes. This is the undisputed Mr. Big. On this golf course, the water hazard is more hazardous than usual. It's one place where the future has caught up with the native alligators. Someone has slapped a fairway bang on top of this predator's ancestral home but he's not about to change the habits of several thousand years for a little white ball. So Florida is starting to look like a nicely manicured Jurassic Park. Since they can't stop the tide of progress, reptiles have no choice but to go with the flow. They'll only have a future if they can adapt and fast. Can reptiles use their age-old skills to face a brave new world? A surprising new discovery is shedding light on how adaptable they really are. The desert of Northwest Africa, one of the harshest places on Earth. Yet here, some relatives of the Miami alligators have found a way to beat the odds. In the dried out heart of Mauritania, water loving crocodiles have been discovered. To understand why, we have to go back in time. 5,000 years ago, this area was fertile grassland. Then, as the sands of the Sahara swallowed up the northern part of Africa, the lush savanna disappeared. Most mammals bit the dust. But these resourceful reptiles found a way to beat the devastating climate change. So how do they exist when water is so scarce? It rains for just a few weeks each year, creating temporary pools. So at least part of the time, the crocodiles can find somewhere to live.
With the big game gone, their only source of food is smaller creatures that can survive these harsh conditions. In the wet season, these crocodiles behave like any others would. Living and hunting in the water of this tiny oasis in the vast desert. But in the dry season, nearly all the water sources do dry up. And this is when the desert crocodiles do something that has been a mystery for thousands of years. When the water goes, they vanish too. Where they go is a riddle that has only recently been solved. As the intense heat bakes the land, there's just one option, down. Who would have thought to look for crocodiles 10 meters underground? But as temperatures outside soar to 40 degrees Celsius, these clever reptiles keep their cool. They shut down and enter a kind of hibernation. They slow down their metabolism. A smart technique to save their energy. And thanks to this extreme survival tactic, they can last for several months with no water or food. It's thought that if they do emerge during this time, it's only in the cool of the night. Over the centuries, as their home gradually dried up, these reptiles changed their entire lifestyle to allow them to survive. Faced with a shifting climate, versatility gave them a future. But today, Extreme change can come much faster than that. In Barbados, another ancient reptile's future is in doubt because of the sheer speed of human change. Turtles have cruised the tropics since the dinosaurs were here. These veterans may live more than a century, but during their lifetime, their world has been transformed. When turtles landed on this beach just 40 years ago, it would have been deserted. Now, it's a different world. Turtles need warm, sandy beaches to lay their eggs. But people love beaches too. More people and more development means less space for turtles every year. The turtles have no choice. They have to come ashore to lay their precious eggs. After dark, at least it's quieter. But they still face an obstacle course. And they have to nest in whatever space they find. Turtles rely on laying lots of eggs, as only about one in a thousand survive to reach adulthood. Even the sea is a dangerous place. Trapped in nets and poisoned by pollution, many turtles are already endangered. Having to share the beach just stacks the odds against them even more. During the day, the beach is home to the holiday crowd. Most people have no idea what's going on beneath their feet 
and how vital it is to the turtle population. And all this activity on the surface can affect the developing eggs below. Some dangers are obvious. Constant pressure on the sand compacts it, which can crush the eggs too close together. This could starve them of oxygen. If they do manage to survive all this, the babies will hatch two months later under cover of darkness. They rely completely on their instincts to take them to the sea. They aim for the brightest horizon, which for millions of years would have been the water. But today, they can be easily misled. Like moths to a flame, these hatchlings are drawn to the lights of a hotel resort. Once there, they're totally confused. Others are disorientated by the bright lights of a road. The further they wander off course, the more likely they are to run into cars or predators, or get lethally dehydrated. These hatchlings have found water, but the wrong kind. Attracted to a bright spa pool, they're trapped in the chlorinated water. Luckily, there's help at hand. The Barbados Sea Turtle Project patrols the beaches every night on the lookout for turtles in trouble. These hatchlings get a second chance. Released back on the beach in a dark, quiet spot, well away from the confusing lights. Worldwide, many turtles are having a tough time adapting to so much change so fast. If they are to survive in the future, something will need to change. But there's one place at least where turtles are showing they can move with the times. In San Diego Bay, green turtles gather in large numbers. They're normally solitary, so this is unusual for a start. They are also right. growing at an accelerated rate, as these scientists are finding out, and reaching maturity quicker than other turtles. So what's going on? To find out, one old lady of the sea is coming face to face with modern science. It's a bit of an indignity, but it won't do her any harm. Tracking devices are securely attached to her shell. They'll be retrieved when her assignment is over. She is now fully equipped for her mission to spy on her neighbors in the bay. The transmitters won't affect her swimming, although she may get some strange looks from the other turtles. And the results of this high-tech surveillance are surprising. The answers lie around the power plant that dominates the bay. It turns out that the clean water running out of it is several degrees warmer than the open ocean. These jacuzzi-like conditions are ideal for seagrass, a turtle's favorite salad. Unlike other turtles, they can keep feeding throughout the winter months, another reason they grow faster here. These turtles have acted quickly to turn a changing situation to their own advantage. 